People always say that music is the universal language, but even more than that, the music that we love can transcend time. Imagine that we are playing to a full arena full of people. Imagine you're at Roger's place, my Roger's arena there, and it is just full of screaming fans. Don't imagine that you're in the studio right now. Imagine that you are there. So this time when we play, we're gonna have about five seconds of silence, and imagine that we're all in position, and then we're gonna give it a shot, okay? As if this is the show, this is the one. Yeah, I think Paul McCartney kind of has explained this in the best terms I've ever heard. He says the best feeling in the world is when you're up on stage and people are up there singing the words that you created and just hearing those lyrics being sang by an audience is the best feeling in the world. Writing a song and having it last as long as it does is kind of the end goal when we're all, uh, you know, one day unfortunately gone from this world, music still stays. A good song is a good song not just for one year, it's a good song forever. That's the kind of stuff that we're honoring and, and we're paying tribute to is you know, the late and great artists of our days and, and really what the music has done for not just them, but how it's impacted the world. Well, I've been with Resonate for six years now, so it's a really long time and I've been through all the concerts and every year it continues to grow and it's really great for me to be able to just see myself grow too and to my like my music ability has just grown more and more and like right after the recitals in March and April I'm like when's the concert gonna be and you know what what parts can I play just kind of thing <laughs> the rehearsal process is so smooth every band I've been in last year and this year we've just it's three hours total that it's just playing there's been banter, there's been some funny moments, and it's just such, it's team bonding because everyone knows their parts, but it's putting all the parts together that's so special. And so uh, it's such an addition to the experience. Why is that so lovely? What's happening here? We're here at the Meyer Horowitz Theater and we're just loading in for the sound check. It's the start of another full day of preparation for the concert. And that's something that a lot of people don't recognize or that they're not aware of, is how much work goes into putting on a show like this. Not even just the rehearsals and the students coming out and then giving us their time in the mornings to get ready, practicing with the bands, but also the whole Resonate team is here for a full day to get this set up. So it's a lot of fun, but there's a ton of work that goes into it. Okay, so this group can follow me. Dress rehearsal day is kind of like it's kind of like getting a preview of like of all of like the product of all your efforts. Um, it's a little bit stressful and it's a little bit like oh my gosh, I have no idea how to navigate the U of A. Um, but uh, as soon as like you get where you need to go, um, then all of a sudden you're gonna start just hanging out with the group of people that you like, that you're very. Um, familiar with and then it's just it's it's a really fun day it's just a it's a it's it might be long but um it's also like an option to be like oh i didn't know that song was in the show oh that sounded really good i i should go talk to that person about it later so the concert series has inspired me to create more and just get also into like the backstage side of music and like the audio engineering aspect and like the um mixing stuff and just lighting and mics and just all the smaller backstage things that a lot of people don't see when you know um when they go to see a concert or something so yeah it's definitely has made me more connected to like the back side of uh, the performance day the concert the night where it all goes down you get this kind of, a lot of people get feelings of nerves but as soon as you get out on stage and you're out there you see the audience you're ready and you just have this ready feeling in you and those nerves just boom disappear you get to go out there have rock the stage and get everybody happy that they 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 actually came good to see the people after like you perform they're all clapping for you and and
and they some people even come up to you after and say incredible job this is incredible and yeah I love that All right, everyone, we've been going at this for hours. We still don't have a theme for next year's concert. We gotta start just spitballing ideas. Throw them out there, good, bad, doesn't matter, go. Mumble rap. Popular, I don't know why. How about a tribute to Weird Al Yankovic? Mm -hmm. I liked him when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. How about songs that start with the letter J? Thank you, Jared. Uh-huh. Podemos cantar canciones en español? Uh, how about uh, bands with beards? Could be a good luck. Yeah. Frontman? Maybe a solo project. There you go, okay. I'm we'll into it, yeah. Potential. What about ASMR? Oh. Yeah. 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 No? Not into that one? Chris Mayo. Oh. Okay. Yeah. How about songs that have the word resonate in them? Could be good branding. Okay. Yeah. Songs that start with the letter M? M, okay. I'm seeing a theme here, but... Uh, how about dubstep? I don't. I don't think there are any instruments, though. Songs that start with the letter J. All right. I don't think we're getting anywhere here, you guys. This isn't going as I hoped. I've got it. Number one. That has to be the theme for next year. Number ones. Hey! That was better than what I had. Mm -hmm.